shuffling up some cards here while we got a little time. We're going to pull some cards today and, and see if there's anything that Spirit thinks we should know. Ooh, someone's on the top of the world. Sometimes when you're at the top, that's kind of a precarious place to be, though. <laughs> there's only more than one way to go. <laughs> How much higher are you going to go? Are you going to go down? Ten of Cups. It's a roller coaster of building something up, but, but once you get there, hey, let us see here. We'll get them all pulled and then we'll go over them. Um, the sun, my happy place, my golden child. My happy place. I'm going to pull six of them, I think. So let's pull three more. And then we'll go and clarify. Okay. Justice. Push and pull, give and take, push and pull, uh, compromise, um, stubborn. It's like someone's really having a hard time compromising and giving and taking and being fair. Um, yeah. That's a, such a funny card in this deck. I think this deck is called the Seer. I'm not sure. I have so many decks, and I take them out of their boxes and then just don't um, oh, Ten of Wands, Burdens, a Journey, kind of like, in this deck, it's like, it's not just burdens, it's like, um, it's like really appreciating the hard road you had to take to get where you are today. That's what I feel from that card. Page of Wands, Exuberance, Enthusiasm, someone who is over the top, someone who, um, they're very excitable in their nature and they they do everything on the spur of the moment and they oftentimes don't think about consequences they're just they embrace the energy of the moment okay that's all i'm going to pull from this deck let me see over here what do we have now so what I get from the six cards all together, give me a moment while I just momento while I Yeah, I was trying to think which deck I want to clarify with. I will I will take the one I've got in my hand. <laughs> There's someone that just couldn't get on board with this yibbity skibbity happy moment and this um, uh, bubbling family. Sounds it feels like the Brady Bunch. Anyway, they just they had enough. Maybe maybe of this person that's had enough, they either don't feel that this is real or something has gone really over the top here in this yibbity skibbity happy home life thing. There's something that was very burdensome or very problematic or troublesome to someone. And so they just look at her. She just, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Uh, not doing this anymore. Yeah, this person that's on the top and this uh, questionable little justice card here. Wow. It's like... Um, this person that's at, at the peak, who has peaked, whether in their in the relationship or um, in their job or a career, someone has peaked. Someone wants to keep them in that top spot, and someone else wants to knock them on their ass. Someone wants to see if we can just knock those discs out from under her, and someone is trying to prevent that. All these strange storylines. Oh, okay. This is like super exuberance, super happiness, super over the top. This feels like too much, too much energy. It's like overwhelming. So it's almost like someone who is um, manic. Is that the word that I'm looking for? They're just, they're like shaking with energy and, and they just... It's just like um, 
something that's been let loose. Um, I'm getting a lot of manic energy here, which means there's no direction. There's no direction, and um, it doesn't feel like there is a lot of um, common sense or even the ability, even the ability to like think clearly. It's just um, not there right now. There's just all this exuberance with no outlet. Does that make sense? Okay, so there is my look for there. I am going to pull, um, I'm interested to see this person that is just walking away from all this burdens and this uh, family situation that has just become too complicated, um, too awkward, too uncomfortable, too much of a burden, um, something they want to get away from. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't always that way. It started out yippity skippity and happy put her over here while we do this it started out good and something something happened it also there is a feeling of that excess in um, excess energy uh, something didn't turn out the way it was supposed to something wasn't completed um, um, demands or expect expectations not demands but expectations weren't met, weren't met. Um, one more card for this, for this Ten of Wands. Another Ten of Wands. Wow, wow. Whatever this was, this person's very wise to walk because um, the burdens far outweighed the, um, the positive things about staying where she was far outweighed it and um and so for someone it's a matter of self-preservation to have left a situation that is that is just not not acceptable it's not acceptable okay there's another one in here i wanted oh i wanted this justice this justice card in this deck is um it, it actually is so much more interesting than the traditional justice card because you not only have the scales, you have like you have like this reflection, you have this push and pull feeling, this tug, this um, like the lines of good and evil, positive and negative, yin and yang. You have you have a push pull feeling with this card, um, and I always found that fascinating with this deck. So let's pull some cards for that justice. What is this justice all about? Who needs who needs some? Oh, well, it can either have had to do with a couple, this justice, this push and pull. It can either have had to do with a couple, or the lover's card also has been known just to mean um, choices. It's a choice. I, I hardly ever get it as choices in my reading, though that's another feeling that I'm getting from it. It's like two people again, two people, two people. And you went from this yippity skippity again to this. And that seems to be the theme for this reading. Someone who's really happy and really thought they were settled and content with what they had and boom, changed. The energy changed. Let's pull another card for this justice. More clarification. What about this? What about this? Uh, someone being left out in the cold. Um, this whole situation leading to an unhealthy financial state. Um, um, yeah. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Someone is definitely left out in the cold. Mm, lots of friction and it's all like there's there's boundaries going up here too definitely there's boundaries there's <laughs> oh the term as above so below also came into my mind um tit for tat um someone may be getting a little taste of karma here just a wee taste we taste of karma this is such an impromptu reading i Oh, the chariot. Uh, decisions again. 
Okay, decisions again, movement, um, going places, changing locations, changing sides, changing opinions, um, going different ways. But yeah, that all, this all comes out again. Choices, choices, and uh, trying to balance it all out. Oh, I'm very hot in here. I went and put a long sleeve shirt on. I thought it was chilly today, and now I'm flushed. So anyway, this was a very impromptu reading. I wasn't expecting to have the house to myself today, but I did. And um, I hardly ever do readings out here on my computer at the table unless the house is clear. I just, I can't concentrate. So with that said, um, be on the lookout for my new book coming out in 2023. It's called The Divine Me, Embracing Your Inner Goddess. I, I will put the new banner that I created tucked in here. Maybe at the beginning or the end of this video, as you can see it, I created it today and it's absolutely gorgeous and it gives me more incentive to push on and finish this last portion of this book and let's get her done and get her out to you so you can read it. So until next time, bye bye.